Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our premium dirt helmet overview at RevZilla.com. Now, in our opinion, a premium dirt helmet has to perform on a handful of different levels and perform well. The first aspect is safety, and that's a mixture of how the helmet fits your head as well as the components used to make up the helmet. The second one's ventilation. How well will it breathe, both airflow interiorly, airflow to your goggles, as well as airflow to your head. And the last feature is how rugged, durable, and cleanable is this helmet, because really over time, in a dirt or off-road scenario, helmets like these get beat to hell. And you want to be able to make sure you can clean them, you can work on them, you can tune them, and as well as, well as keep them clean up to speed and usable for the longer haul. Now in front of me, I have most of our key brands of helmet manufacturers. These are their top end models. I'm gonna walk through them at a high level. Each one has its own specific detailed video breakdown that you're gonna to wanna to watch at RevZilla.com on the product page. And most of these helmets as well have a, a predecessor or even a helmet that might be a step down in price. We're gonna mention that as well. That might be a little less technical. So let's start with one of the, the more reasonable investments all the way on our right. And it's really the one that has one toe in, one toe out of this market. It's a true off-road helmet, but it's really more of an adventure helmet than it is a dirt helmet. This is the Climb F4 Snell 2010 rated composite head shape. It's going to be the most neutral or round fit in our line, so it's going to be that intermediate neutral round oval, whereas a lot of these other helmets are intermediate to, to, to longer oval, and we'll talk about that. But if we look at it, it comes with a wind stopper shield that's going to allow you to take it in multi-season. They know that the true adventure rider Taking it off-road needs a lot of ventilation, is working hard on their bike, but also the, with the wind stopper liner, you can shut down some of the airflow. The most vents of anything on the table, 41 different vents as I rotate it up. You can see that. You can look at the way that the guts are laid out here on the inside. A high quality design from Climb, and really whether you're riding an adventure or in a dirt riding scenario, it's going to be really well suited to perform. It also comes with a breath guard, and you can see that this graphic, there are a few different graphics. There's no solid here on the Climb version. There's also no step down. This is the F4 from Climb starting at around the 4 $400 range. Moving to my right, I have the other opposite end of the spectrum. This is the VX Pro 3 from Arai. This is Arai's top end pro level dirt helmet. There is no step down from this helmet in the Arai line. They've been making dirt helmets and replacing them every three, four years for the, the succession. You know, a lot of times Arai is credited with inventing the dirt helmet. You know, notice the hardware. It's, the peak is a strong material. It's meant to shear off. Snell 2010. One of the key features here on the Arai, besides the high quality of all that they do with the guts, and again, you're getting an intermediate oval head shape, is the high quality of the venting, it's going to vent really, really well. And then if we also look at it, notice one of the features here on the Arai is that it's a rounded, it's a rounded chin bar. And the way that this is shaped, that there's, they've taken a lot of that hard angle out of it, it's actually meant so that when this chin bar cracks, there's a dramatically, uh, it's dramatically more likely to break out versus break in. Because what you don't want on these helmets is if you end up cracking this chin bar to it, to, for this piece of you know composite fiberglass to come in and get near your face. So again, it's very engineered, worn at the pro level, very lightweight, um, and it's meant to be as safe as it is functional. And if we notice too, emergency quick release cheek pads. This helmet's gonna start in that $500 range and go up there for graphics, a lot of solids, a lot of graphic colors available. Now we're gonna take a step backwards in functionality, just a little bit from the Arai, and this is another great option. The claim to fame here on the AGV AX8 Evo is that one, there's a dual sport option of it. Two, the Evo is the version, the step forward from the AX8, which was really popular, and it's very light. This is probably the most lightweight dirt helmet on the table. It also has a really, really cool, almost Decepticon esque element to this, to where it's just a very aggressive style. Titanium hardware, you have a good amount of venting, but again, um, the components here from AGV, as they continue to refine their line, it's very much an aggressive, classic Italian style and Italian take on the dirt side of things from AGV. This one is an intermediate head shape and it fits about a half size large we found. And I've actually spent a good amount of time in this helmet and I find it performs well both at speed as well as in longer distance riding scenarios. Now moving to my left, I think this is the newest helmet we have on the table. This is the Fox V4. It is the step up from the V3, which a V3 has been a staple. It was the helmet that Ricky Carmichael won his championships in. The V4 is the new kit on the block from Fox. It's a slightly different fit pattern, still intermediate oval. It's gonna sit lower on the head. It's a high quality interior. If we look at it, it has that classic Fox shape, which is very vertical in the way the sides come down. This is something very attuned to Fox. And if we look at it, We've added a lot of vents here to the V4, and we even have venting now that vents to the top of the goggle system, which is one of the newer features we're starting to see. And if you look here on this, 
on this colorway, you're going to see that we can see the exposed carbon fiber. So the V4 is only available in this carbon fiber version, and you're looking in that five to six hundred dollar range for the V4 from Fox. And remember, check out the V3, which is still around. They're still making new graphics for it. It's still a staple in the line at around that four hundred dollar range. The V4 has just come on and really been a game changer from what we've seen from Fox. Moving to my left is one of the other more technical helmets on the table. This is the Bell Moto 9, the step up from the Bell Moto 8, which has been around. Now the Moto 9 vents well. It's intermediate oval. It's going to fit like an RS1 from the Bell line if you're used to it. A lot of paint colors, a lot of solids available, high quality interior. One of my favorite two things about this helmet are really the safety features. So you're going to have these, it's the, called the MERS system. It's a, a neodymium magnetized cheek pad system that makes these even easier to get out. So when you think about that, don't think about yourself, think about the EMT that might be working on you when you're knocked out. So for them to be able to just slide that, that cheek pad out on a magnetic side of things is a really nice feature. It also has silver lining in the cheek pad here. It's gonna be antibacterial, antimicrobial. And then what you can't see is on the inside of the liner here, on this helmet, if we get the full view here on the back, really aggressive in its styling. There's also the eject, it's also eject system compatible. So for the um, inflatable ballast system, which sits on the top of your head, which most people right now are jamming in between their in between their comfort liner and their EPS, which creates a bit of a hard spot or a bit of a lump. This helmet actually has a cutaway that's recessed, so you can put that eject system in to where if you are knocked out on the field, the, e the, um, the EMT can hook up the pump to it, inflate the ballast, and really help slide this helmet gradually off your head if you're not, you know, if they're worried about moving your head because you're unconscious. Moving to my left is actually another staple helmet, and by the way, the, the Bell helmet, the Moto 9, is going to be in that four dollars to $500 range. Now we have the Shoei VX Pro 3, which again is one of the more aggressive options. It's tried and true using the AIM Plus shell. The thing I like about the Shoei helmet, besides the fact that it's the longest oval head shape in this mix, you can see a really long front to back. And if I flip to the bottom, you're going to see the, uh, you know, where the, how the neck roll would work and really the profile of the bottom. Really aggressive that they've managed to incorporate areas that are going to be functional and hold your goggle straps in place, but really just looks super gnarly on this helmet. This is the black version, comes in graphics as well, and you're standing on the shoulders of all of the tech that we see from Shoei. Again, Snell 2010, and you do have an emergency cheek pad removable sy removal system, which is right there, those poles that allow you to quickly remove those cheek pads out. Again, the VX or the VFXW has been a staple in the showy line, both in the graphics and the solids. It vents really well. You, know, you do have pros who are wearing it. So really, what you need to know if you're looking at the moto side of things, if you're not the weekend warrior, if you're a guy who's a hardcore moto guy, or you're really looking at it and saying, I just want the best protection for my head, this is really the best of what's available within the Revzilla, Revzilla family of products. There are gonna be some of these helmets that come in a dual sport version with a visor. There are also, like I said, some of these helmets that are going to be non-carbon fiber or do have a baby brother in the mix that steals some of the technology but might be a little bit less expensive. So make sure you check that out in the dirt line. And remember, we have a full video breakdown on every helmet that we have within the line here from Revzilla. So we hope this gives you a good starting point, some real context to be able to compare these helmets and what the standout features are, you know, as you look side by side and further down the food chain from them here at Revzilla.com. As always, we want to hear your feedback. Leave us your comments, feedback, and questions, whether they be granular or at a high level, on the video page, which you're probably watching here on YouTube, or on our product detail page for any one of these products at Revzilla.com. As always, you can subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on, our, on, on YouTube, stay up to date with all the latest videos. And remember, everybody under this roof rides, so we don't expect you to be the experts. We expect you to lean on us for help when you need it. So shoot us a line, see us at Revzilla.com or 877 792 9455. As always, any product over 39 bucks ships for free, exchanges for free, no restock fee if you need to send it back to us. And you can always earn Teams of the Cash on any order over $100 to help you save some money in the long run because God knows if you're buying a helmet on this level, you're buying the rest of the Moto gear that goes with it and will help you save some money on multiple purchases here at Revzilla.com. Thanks for watching our Dirt Helmet Overview, available at Revzilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.